The generator powering the demo is a 13 kilowatt 220 volt generator. The dust collector is a 3 motor 110 volt HEPAVAC. The grinder is a 220 volt 6 tool rotary. And the shot blaster is a 110 volt 8 inch. The floor that's being treated is rough. There is spalling, there is previous preparation damage, there is spilled coatings. Any number of things that could be wrong with a floor, this one pretty much has it. The diamond grinding is being done to flatten the surface of the concrete. It's reducing those elevation inequalities that would otherwise have to be buried by the next coating that's applied to the floor. By using the grinder, it's essentially smoothing out the high spots. Though it's not taking out the low spots, it's at least reducing the elevation difference that would otherwise require extra material to bury those problems. After grinding, the floor is vacuumed. It's obvious that the floor, though ground, still has many spots that are not touched by the diamonds. All those low spots are places where, of course, the coating will flow. So the challenge is how to prep those low spots because the grinder couldn't practically be expected to grind that deep. The shot blaster is used to clean those low spots. While it does also profile and clean the area that's been ground, more important is being able to reach down and clean into those lower pits where the grinder could not do any work. When the coating is applied, of course, the coating has to flow over the whole floor. Any of those low spots not prepped would be future points of delamination because the coating could not bond. The shot blaster makes it possible to quickly, cleanly, and in a dust-free way, get down and clean inside those pits that the grinder couldn't reach. Magnet sweeping is done to pick up the loose shot from the blasting. And from this point, the floor is pretty much ready to go with its first coating treatment.